Welcome to Rally 101. In this video, we're going to explain the different setups that we use on the Hyundai i20N Rally 2 car, depending whether we're competing on gravel or tarmac. So the beauty of rallying is that we have one car that has to compete across a variety of different surfaces. So when we're changing from gravel to tarmac, there are many parts on the car that have to change. And let's just cover off a few of them here. So starting with the most obvious thing that we can see here, the brakes. The gravel setup here with a 330mm brake disc compared to the tarmac setup with the big 355mm brake disc. The benefits of the bigger brake disc is we get extra brake performance, but it also helps with the cooling because with the high grip surface, we're creating a lot more temperature and demand on the brake system. Along with the brake disc, we're actually using the same brake caliper, whether it's gravel or tarmac. But the one thing that can change is the brake pad. We'll often have a higher bite brake compound in the tarmac to allow us to stop the car quicker. The other difference that we can see here on the upright assembly is the bottom kingpin. As we're running with less suspension travel and a very different geometry setup between gravel and tarmac, the pickup points here on the upright are different onto the suspension arm. So that's the brakes. The next big component that's different on the car is the damper. And we can very clearly see the difference here between the tarmac damper and the gravel damper. Obviously on tarmac, which is a smooth surface, we don't need as much suspension travel. On the gravel, we need this massive suspension travel to help us absorb the bumps, the jumps, the compressions that we might encounter. But on tarmac, a smaller damper is effectively weight saving because we need less suspension travel to get the grip that we need. Inside the damper, you'll often find the tarmac damper is a lot stiffer. And of course, working in correlation with the dampers is the rest of the chassis. So roll bars are generally a lot stiffer to give you a more precise and race car like feeling within the car. The setup of the anti-dive and anti-squat can be a lot more aggressive and a lot more neutral to give you more of a race car like feel. Whereas compared to gravel, they will have less anti-dive and less anti-squat because we need the car to be moving more to create the grip that we need on a loose surface. So once we've got the brakes and suspension sorted, we're of course going to set up the differentials of the car a little bit differently. And this is going to depend on the amount of grip that's on offer and of course the driver's preference. So this is going to be focused around the ramps, the friction plates and the preload to generally open up the diffs more. For more information on this, make sure you check out our other Rally 101 video where we go into much more detail about the differentials. So we're now sorted the car out mechanically, but there's a few other changes under the skin that allows the car to be lighter and faster. Starting with the protection. Obviously on gravel, we have to protect the bottom of the car from a rough surface, jumps or compression. So you can see here the difference that we have even between the thick sump guard for rough gravel rallies and the thinner gravel sump guard used for smoother gravel rallies. Compared to the very thin sump guard that we have here on tarmac. We simply don't need the same amount of protection under the car, which means we can reduce the weight by going lighter on the sump guard. Of course, on gravel, we need more protection. This starts with things like the suspension arm protections, little guards to help protect from gravel rash and gravel wear, and of course, mud flaps, which are used around all four wheels on the car. These are all parts that are not needed on a tarmac setup. Now we've seen the parts here in the workshop, let's actually go check them out in the car and visibly see how different it looks. So we're here now with two different specifications of the Hyundai i20N Rally 2 car. Behind me, we've got the tarmac version, and here in front of me, we've got the gravel version. And there's two obvious differences. One being the ground clearance, the other being the wheels. So starting here with the gravel specification car, we can see we have a lot more ground clearance. This allows the car to be able to ride over rough terrain and have support over jumps or compressions. We have the 15 inch gravel wheel, which is coupled with the Scorpion Pirelli rally tire. And then on the tarmac car, you can see we have the much bigger 18 inch tarmac wheel, which is coupled with the P0 Pirelli tire. But what this bigger wheel allows is for clearance for the bigger brakes. And of course, you can see the lower ride height of the car gives it a better ride for tarmac, a lower center of gravity, and this means a faster car. That was my guide to the different setups that we use on the Hyundai i20N Rally 2 car between gravel and tarmac. For more videos like this, check out the rest of our Rally 101 series. 
And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe.